Let's bring in general manager John Robinson. And John, congratulations on the victory. Great start to the season 1-0. and I know that everyone talks about the fact that there's no carryover from one NFL season to another, but how you won the game on Monday night showed that grit that the 2019 Titans also showed on several occasions. So I'm wondering that fortitude, that resolve, is that maybe not carryover from last year, but is it becoming a fabric, a, a building block of what the Titans are right now as an organization? Uh, yeah, Mike. I mean, I think that's you know that's stamped in in the pillars uh, in here in our building. That tough uh, mindset, having that resolve, as you alluded to, to keep pushing forward, stay in the ring, keep punching. You know, the ball is going to bounce different ways throughout the course of the game. You know, that's the nature of the NFL. There's ups and downs throughout the course of a game, but those mentally tough teams that have that mindset can hopefully carry on and, and, and come away with a win. It took a lot of effort from a lot of different players to get the victory over the Denver Broncos. But let's start with the quarterback, Ryan Tannehill. What did you see out of him that really impressed you? Well, I think he did a good job of, of commanding the offense first and foremost. That's you know that's uh, his leadership to keep the troops and keep them keep them forging ahead. Um, he made some good throws, and certainly in that last uh, two minutes to march us down the field to get us in position to take the go-ahead score with that field goal, that was an important drive for us. John Corey Davis, seven catches, 101 yards. He was given a game ball after the contest by head coach Mike Vrabel. Why was Corey Davis so effective against the Broncos' defense? Yeah, Corey worked hard all week. You know, he's kind of battling back and forth, uh, worked out pregame and looked good. He did a really good job once we got into the game of playing fast, uh, of working to get open, of understanding coverages and how to run away from coverages. Made some really tough catches, really big catch on the sideline there, or a, a tight sideline to get both feet in, uh, to keep that drive going. So, you know, he, he really just went out and executed the game plan and, and, and guys fed off that. We ain't done. More work than go, baby. Tough sledding for Derrick Henry. He only had 31 rushes for 116 yards with a long of 13, but you were really able to stick with the run game, especially in the second half, really played a part in how much time of possession the Titans were able to have. How are you able to stay so committed to the run, even when maybe it's not going exactly how you would like it to? Yeah, I mean, I think that's part of our blueprint as a football team. You know, we've got a bunch of guys that, that believe in that philosophy that we've got to run the football. And it's not always going to be easy. Some of those yards are going to be tough. you got to grind it out. That's the mindset of our offensive linemen. You know, they like run blocking. They like moving guys off the ball. Our receivers and tight ends have bought in to the concept of, of digging those support guys in or those safeties or backers that may be crashing in there to try to stop it. And, and, and we've all seen Derek, you know, it only takes one play for him to find a crease and pop a long one off. So we stick to the blueprint and, and it paid dividends for us. Now, he didn't even practice for a whole week, so is it hard to evaluate the first game that Jadavian Clowney played in? Yeah, you know, he was he was, he was was new to the team, and, I, you know, I'm proud of J.D. He integrated himself in with his teammates really, really quickly. It seemed like he'd been here for a long time, the way he just interacted on the sidelines uh, in practice in the locker room, and then and he looked like he was having fun out there last night running around. He made some disruptive plays. We still got some things that we've got to clean up there, but he's happy to be back playing football and excited to be a part of this football team. I feel good, man. We got to do it. That's all that matters. John, in watching the game in real time, it seemed like both Kevin Byard and Kenny Vaccaro were very disruptive. Maybe your safeties having one of their better overall games as a tandem? Well, I think those both those guys have made, have made a lot of plays uh, for this football team uh, in their time together here. And that was true in the Denver game too. You know, they, they both come up with some big plays. KB punching the ball out there to cause a fumble, getting a, you know, a huge turnover. Kenny with a huge tackle for loss and a pass break up on third down that was a near pick. You know, those guys, they understand the defense. They work well with one another. They communicate well. We're going to need those, both of those guys to continue to make plays for us down the stretch here. Jacksonville is next for the Titans this Sunday at Nissan Stadium. What stood out to you about their victory over the Indianapolis Colts last weekend? Yeah, I think they did. They played a really uh, complimentary football game, you know, in, in all three phases. You know, defensively, uh, they got a lot of playmakers over there. I thought the, the rookie Henderson had a heck of a game. And Minshew, you know, Gardner did a great job, you know, keeping his feet alive, avoiding pressure. So we'll have to, we'll have to bring our A game on Sunday, you know, to match wits with these guys.